This video will demonstrate how to add video and photos in the new improved content editor in Blackboard SAS. First, let's go ahead and create an announcement. So I'm going to click the create announcement button. And I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it test. And now you're looking at the new improved content editor in Blackboard SAS. And these features have changed slightly from our original Blackboard Learn setup. So the first button I really want to hone in on is this plus button right here or icon. It's called the add content icon or the power of the plus. And with this power of the plus button, uh, with this button you can uh, add content from your computer, cloud storage, or integrated tool. The content editor will automatically recognize the kinds of files you add. So let's go ahead and click on this button now. And you notice we have um, basically two different categories, common tools and additional tools. In the common tools, you can insert local files. Um, as far as pictures, videos, and and also insert course files, you can insert um, files from within inside your um, Blackboard course shell. And then additional tools, you know, you can include Dropbox photos or you know content, um, you know, um, Flickr photos. Couture Media slash Share Presentation and of course the wonderful YouTube video. So I want to go and click on the Insert Local Files button. And let's just select this video, this picture right here of Jagger the Jaguar with some of our students. And I just click the picture and it in um embedded the picture in the text box editor um, so now I want to um, right click on that picture and then also click image and here there's an alternative description meaning you can name your picture for us having alt text now I tried this earlier and when I saved it and I hovered over the picture it did not give me the um, description of the picture and that may be something that Blackboard is working on as a fix with this new SAS environment so for picture I'm just going to type in Jagger and the students and you also you can change the width and the height of the picture as well but I'm not going to change today I'm just going to click save and then click and scroll down and then click submit. So now there's my picture that is uploaded into this announcements area of Blackboard. And you notice I'm hovering over the picture and my alt text is not being displayed. Like I said earlier, that could be um, Blackboard could be working on a fix to resolve that issue in the new SAS environment, and I will keep you updated on that. Um, next, I want to show you how um, you can upload your profile picture in your instructor uh, content section so let's click on course information then click on the my instructor link and we already have as far as this testing uh, shell with the joke template we already have a um, course instructor information here and I'm going to show you how to create one. So we're going to cr click on create content. Then uh, give it a name as uh, far as your first and last name. Email address. And you also include your phone number. I actually give my name. Let's do that. All right, then office location, you enter that in. And then also you can do office hours and then notes. 
And for the sake of time of this trope of this uh, video, um, I'm not going to enter that in, but that this is where you enter in your office location information, office hours, and also notes if you have some notes, special notes for your students. And on the options, you can make make the profile available by default is no but I'm gonna select yes and here current image it says none attach image we want to attach an image or profile picture just click the browse button and let's select uh, we can select the good old Jags again and click open and then click submit and you see there is the profile um, contact information that was created and also the profile pic and lastly I'm going to show you how you can upload a video. So, as far as videos, we want to go, and I can do it within the announcements area again. So, within announcements, I'm going to click on create announcement and we'll call it test again. And in the content editor for the Blackboard SAS environment, click on the power of the plus again or the add content button. As far as your videos, um, you can, most likely it will be a YouTube video. If you're creating your own videos, we ask that you upload your video to YouTube. That way, it can create uh, closed caption text, and also you can take that embed code and um, upload it into um, Blackboard. So we're gonna click on YouTube video, and basically, uh, if you have a video. Um, that you created or you want to find a video out there just type in the search box area of the video um, I'll just do education see what comes up all right here's one about education and I want to select this one what's education for and you're going to click the select button and it gives the title of the video here also the duration and mashup options. I want to keep it as a thumbnail. Because thumbnails tend, tends to be a more um, user friendly and it looks uh, appealing to the, the viewer as far as a thumbnail rather than have a link on that page. So we're going to create a thumbnail. And there's some other options too text link, which that is the link or the URL. Then there's the embed video. It's similar to the thumbnail. Alright, so we're going to leave show YouTube URL. That's no. Um, show you to information yes and let's go ahead and click submit and there's the video there as far as your YouTube video that's embedded into your text box editor and to finalize that we want to go ahead and click submit and there's my video also you can uh, embed a YouTube embed or source code into the uh, text box editor for the black in the blackboard SAS environment um, if you hover over this button here this is your source code button go ahead and click that button and here's your source code text box area area so now we want to go to YouTube and I have a YouTube video here and I want to click on the share button then click on embed then just click in this embed code and it highlights it in blue then click copy it is now copied so we want to go back to blackboard and we can right click and paste and there's my source code and then save and it creates the wonderful thumbnail of your YouTube video and then finally click the submit button and we forgot one last thing you want to name your video file so um, we can call it enabling 
can respond this lockdown browser tool. And now you can click the submit button. And the video is now in your announcements area. I hope this video has been very informative to you on today. Have a wonderful day.